So heavy. Guys, we're off again. This is the last time we're gonna see Phuket in our lifetime. No, <laughs> dramatic. <laughs> dramatic. But anyway, every single city, I feel like I'm leaving some stuff. I'm leaving the shorts. I'm leaving the shorts. H&M 999. Chiang Mai, I left the Greek shirt and now I'm leaving the shorts here. But tell them why. I tore, I tore it in the middle when I was squatting. <laughs> We're leaving it. But anyway, we're heading to the airport now. Let's go. Bye Airbnb. Bye pool. The pool up upstairs was so nice. Let's go. Traveler. Very confident, very confident. Walk like the flight attendants. How do you walk? Wow. All this to ourselves. I feel like a superstar. <laughs> it's a VIP service. I made it to the airport. There's a lineup to get in because there's security already right away. That means less time in the lounge. No, we're gonna make it to the lounge a lot of time. I wanna eat good food. Okay, so we're through security, the first security out of two and now we're gonna try to figure out where we have to go and then we'll see. Two. Gate 9. Oh, okay. So at the second security, they actually check one by one if you have fever. So they check the temperature. And when they came in like that, I was like, oh my God, this is actually f for real. That's like a lot of prevention, thank God. But I got low-key scared, I have to say. Now, lunch time. Beautiful lunch. All right, we made it inside and we're gonna eat, work, but before all that. That is 99% alcohol. <laughs> oh, jeez, that's gonna destroy your face. <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna give you a lounge tour now. Let's go. Okay, lounge review time. It's pretty much the same as the lounge in Chiang Rai. So here we have the juices, coffee, pastries. Mm. Here we have drinks and the food. Plain rice, pasta. Mm. It's hot. It's hot. Red curry beef. Oh, I'm gonna get that. Seaweed soup. Oh, I'm gonna get that too. And some salads over there. We don't really care about salads. <laughs> That's it. We're gonna eat. <laughs> this lounge is bigger and nicer than the one in Chiang Rai. But food is kind of similar. So we're very excited because the food was very, very good there. Off we go. Time to board. Thank you. We're off, we're heading to our gate. Boarding time. I'm smiling, but you cannot see that. I have so many pieces. I have a fanny pack, a backpack, neck pillow. This is gonna be a two hours flight, I think. And then we'll be in uh, Bangkok, finally. We just landed in Bangkok and now we are taking the train to downtown because that is the cheapest way to do it. Now that we arrived here in Bangkok, we're gonna try to find a train that's gonna take us downtown. Technically there's one every 15 minutes and it only costs 45 baht, so we'll go for that. I'm so proud we decided on having carry-on only because we're literally in and out of the airport. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at these people waiting for the baggages. Not us. We're out. We have to go down two floors to get to the train. This escalator seems like roller coasters. They go so steep, it's scary. And then flat. See what I just said? So we have to go to this last one. See? Simple as that. 95. Oh, interesting. 
So we have to go all the way to the last stop and the tickets were 90 baht total, so 45 each and they gave us these two plastic tokens. We are here right now and we're gonna go all the way here. So this is where you return the tokens. So if you don't know and you throw away that token, then you cannot get out of the station. That's so funny. It's like in Milan, it's the same thing. You have yeah. to keep your ticket. So when we were driving here on the train from the airport to downtown, first impression of Bangkok is actually looking like Toronto. It's a huge city. There's a lot of buildings. It's true. You can totally see it, in, a, in such a weird way, it reminds us of Toronto. From the very beginning, you can see there's a lot of difference between the um, rich areas and uh, very poorly maintained buildings. So it's, it's kind of interesting. It's going to be interesting to explore this city. So now we're trying to get to the road to order our grab to our hotel and then we'll start exploring. This is a huge station, by the way. We had an option to take the subway, but we can't be bothered. We don't know how to do that. So we'll just take Grab to our hotel and call it a day. Holy shit. So busy. I really can tell this is going to be exciting to see and to explore. I'm so excited about it. So we just walked a little bit to look for a quieter street so we can call the ground area because I feel like earlier we were at the highway. Can you imagine riding the motorbike here? I will die! We just called Grab that is gonna take us to our hotel and we cannot wait to get there so we can drop our bags and right away go explore the city because there's a lot to do. I already created tours for each single day itineraries to follow each single day and I know it's gonna be a lot. It's a huge city so I'm expecting to see a lot of stuff. the quiet oh gosh this is so <laughs> wild it's a jungle Shook I, it. ca I cannot imagine myself driving here anyway guys we're on our way to our hotel and I'm sure I think it's 10 minutes drive to the hotel and yeah I'm lucky with these hotels this is so beautiful it's at the third floor in this very very small street that when we arrived we were like oh my gosh what is this but look at this. It's actually it's actually so spacious. I mean, like we're not expecting anything because it's downtown Bangkok, so everything is gonna be so small. That's expected. But it's actually beautiful. Look at the bathroom too. Wait, Fabio, do a room tour. Oh. Hi guys, welcome to my home for the next four days. Here we go. Room tour. Room tour. Follow me. The moment you walk in, you enter this small hallway. There's our beautiful bathroom here. It's pretty big actually. Look at the shower. It's wow. very nice. It's very nice. You can do a lot of things in here. Look, it's very spacious. I like it. The, oh, the toilet looks nice. And I always love when in hotels they give you so much shampoo and, ba and body wash. I just like it. We're gonna refill our shampoo and body wash <laughs> containers. That's why I like it. So you walk in and this is the bed, which is bigger than the one we had in Toronto. And I'm so happy about that. And then we have Garfield on the wall. This very nice wall, I have to say, blue. Where I'm gonna hang my stuff. What's this? Blow dryer. Oh, is there iron? Blow dryer. So there we go. So you have a TV aircon and a small balcony out here so you can access through this door so here we have a small fridge as well and we have in case if we're just gonna buy coffee powder because that's the most convenient we're just gonna have we have a heater or what do you call that a term a, a kettle. kettle i don't know 
We have a hot, hot water -er. boiler. Yeah. She also told us that there's a shopping bag included because, fun fact, Thailand actually banned all plastic bags in all grocery stores. So in case if you want to go shopping, we have a shopping bag. And she also told us that we have two bottles of water included for each single day. <sighs> Okay guys, so we're gonna go explore the city now. Thank you for watching for today's vlog. Watch out for the next vlog for the first impression of Thailand, but we kind of said it already for the first impression here. Thailand, Bangkok is so huge, busy. It's a big city. It's so colorful and there's so I, much going on. We cannot wait to go out because we've been stuck in the mountains. Chiang Mai, Chiang Rai, Phuket. <laughs> <laughs> literally the mountains so we cannot go out to explore the city anyway thank you for watching we're gonna freshen up and go head out bye guys bye